Psst. Hey. Over here. <laughs> Hi. This is me again, of course. Uh, the spokeswoman, the spokesperson, the spokes individual for the divine feminine. It's nice to meet you. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, girl, yeah, I just did this myself, I applied this myself, you know, it's such hard work being us girls, um, oh, yeah, I did shave earlier this morning, and I really didn't want to, but it is what it is, okay, so, I have a confession to make, it's about how we are, like, okay, I understand that we come across as very confident. I understand that you might think that we are robots and we just wake up and look this way. But that isn't the truth, okay? Like, yeah, I walk around and there's so many guys who are just throwing themselves at me, but truthfully, the truth of the matter is that they aren't interested in me, so to speak. They want to be interested in a certain part of uh, my feminine physique or my divine feminine nature. Unfortunately, this is not the same, and there's so many guys who feel like uh, that we are equal in this regard and it isn't true like to be fair there are so many men who are insecure about their lack of sexual experiences there are so many men who are insecure about their lack of assertiveness aggressiveness their lack of comfort around women of a specific caliber a specific nature of a respective grade. Well, that's all women, right? Aren't we all equal? Isn't that what the feminists have been talking about? Isn't that what the progressives have been speaking about? Don't judge women based on their dressing abilities. Don't comment on her style. Oh, yes, I did get this dress handcrafted and made. Don't comment on the fact that she has wonderful skin. Girls don't like that. Girls don't care about their skin, right? Of course they do. But why are we claiming that we don't want that? It's because we, as girls, are conflicted, all right? We want to be beautiful. We love being beautiful. We yearn to be desired by, one, ourselves, but two, by the sphere of influence in which we are the centerpieces of we all have our own worlds and as girls we are the center the integral piece in our universe and you are the orbits the people are the orbit but what's important are the cultivated relationships and there are so many people who want to be within our orbit but to be fair, girls, we have to be honest. It's just hard being us. It's hard waking up. It's hard putting on this face. How much time did you spend in the mirror this morning? How much time did we spend with makeup products? How much time do we spend on our aesthetic? How much money do we spend weekly, daily, yearly on our aesthetic? We have so much to go through we have so much to overcome we see our images projected via social media via traditional media media via books and literature like this is not an accurate depiction of women this is not how all of us are but as the divine feminine speaks to us we must learn to radiate confidence we must learn to continue to be our biggest advocates and supporters. But girls, it is hard. It is hard. 
we are our biggest supporters, but at times our biggest critiques. We are our worst enemy, but at times, or on the other side of the spectrum, our best and biggest allies. Why don't we support each other more? Well, I can be honest with you, and I can tell you the reason why I don't is because I struggle with my self-esteem. I struggle with my confidence. I struggle with where I see myself in the world. I struggle with my value. I struggle with how I exchange my value via my lifestyle, via my, my ecosystem, via my quality of friends, via my quantity of spiritual and mental and emotional uplifting experiences why do we fight each other girls please let's come together and have a conversation about us and men